Alright, that beam is tied in, all in place. Let's see if I'm tough enough to lift this beam up into place. I don't have any helpers this morning, so I'm trying to get this beam across over here and see how this goes. Hopefully I don't drop it on something. We've got progress. It dried out enough. We we're able to get some foundation going here and get it compacted. They're working hard on that. The gas line was able to get moved. So they are digging out the rest of the foundation that we were waiting on that for. And then we'll go ahead and hopefully this week, you know, we say that every week, but hopefully this is the week we'll get this thing tied up and poured. All right, so I have one more beam to run here in the kitchen. This is the skylight back here that we just installed the other day. We got a big beam out front, this beam here. And what these are gonna do is they're gonna carry the weight of the roof. We're gonna put some big supports up here and it's gonna keep it from moving side to side and really reinforce the roof when we put the weight of the addition roof on it. So that's the whole reason we're doing all of this. I just got a big sheetrock square. I'm going to carry my line down and I've already got a notch that I'll show you here in a minute over on the uh, ceiling joist. It's a moment of truth when we hope we cut this the right length. Looking, looking short. Huh? It's looking short. Can you watch that end? Make sure I don't slip out up there. Yeah. If it slips out, I'll tell you when it hits the bottom. Okay. Oh, we did cut it right. Okay, so we've got to get this window in there. We always pick rainy days to put windows in. <laughs> so looking out to the backyard, you can see our hole where the foundation is going in. And we got to get this old window out of here. Jamie, can you grab me a slotted screwdriver? I got a box over there with a bunch of hand tools in it, just a, a flat screwdriver. So how old do you think this aluminum window is? Um, this aluminum window, it could be from like, I don't know, it's looking newer. I would say probably 70s or 80s. So the window we bought is a double hung. So instead of being cut right in the middle, it'll go up and down just like the other windows and it is a wood and it's got a big fat sash on the bottom so it'll look similar in years and years it's gonna be the only window that we own with a screen <laughs> <laughs> of half a mind to take it off i don't like screens we don't have a lot of bugs here i use the ac so i don't really open windows very often uh it's in the kitchen so we probably yeah. should leave the screen so when i burn food <laughs> i think that the kitchen is probably the only window we normally open peel this up without damaging too many other pieces I kind of left myself some room right here to frame up around and do what I needed to do. I like your plywood situation. You like my plywood door and the plywood floor? Yeah. All right. Yeah. The good news is that we'll have a nice deep windowsill because we had to build out the walls, plus the block is really thick. Well, I found the original windowsill here. There we have it. So the original window sat right in here and this ledge was actually open to the outside, I'm guessing. Yeah, probably. And then this piece of wood wasn't here. So I'm just hammering this window out. What happens if it falls down? It falls down. All right. You got to really get it. Oh, okay. Don't hit that glass. Now we 
So I got the top knock loose and Zeb's gonna come finish the job. I'm worried that if I get too crazy, I might break the glass. So if anybody breaks the glass, it's not me. Here, there you go. Oh. oh! Just like that. All right, now that Zeb's, that we've got it locked, knocked loose, Zeb is just prying the window off. So had he not broken the glass, it would have been a pretty simple removal. I should have known better, like, Zeb has a worse track record than me when it comes to glass and mirror. Dad, you're gonna get to see my very capable construction skills here. I've been sick, so you haven't got to see me a lot, but I help Zeb all the time. Hello. What are we hitting? It's quite, hold on, you're kind of at a weird angle. So it needs to come back your way. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then this will have to actually go forward a little oh. bit. No, that's fine. So that's what it's gonna look like, and then we'll turn it around. Out. Yeah. All right, I'll hold it this way. You go out there and nail it in place. Okay, so this board is gonna stay in, but I've gotta cut it down about an inch, so I'm just gonna leave it in place and use the Sawzall. So I got a little, dipped a little low down here where it broke, but that'll be all right. We're gonna foam insulate it and fill it with caulking and do all kinds of stuff, so. It's good enough. <laughs> I thought you said you had that. Stop laughing at me, Dad! A nail and a hot minute. Uh, 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 what, you want one here and one in the middle? No, one more in there in the end. Hey, we're not going to weigh it down. Hold on. You're not even hitting the nail. You never taught me how to swing a hammer and the way you learn is practice. So by the time the house is built, my hammering skills will improve. Throwing a bead of caulk right here on the top. And I'll hit this though. So this corner here was good, and now we need to trim everything out and add some more wood. We've got a pretty decent sized gap up top here, but that's all right. We'll trim everything out. We're gonna fill it with some spray foam, seal it up with a bunch of caulking, and it'll be good to go. Well, that one fits under there pretty good. Still on the bubble? I don't know, you're a little closer to it. What? Relying on you. Okay, that's perfect with those two wedged up in there like that. You can you can relax there. Okay. Okay, so we've got this big gap here. I've just got this ripped down the extent of the uh, window. Then we'll measure, make sure we're level. Got it nice and plumb. Oh, gotta pull it back a little bit. And that'll make that real easy to trim out and seal up. All right, got some white indoor outdoor caulking. I'm just going to put it down in these cracks as deep as I can get it in there. And that's gonna help stop the airflow. And we'll have another trim piece that comes and hides all this wood that makes it look a lot better once we get around to that. But for today, once we get going on trimming the house out, then I'm gonna start doing all this little stuff. But until then, I don't have all the trim I need. 
So the tough part about trimming this out is that Jamie hasn't quite decided how she wants it all to look. So we've got to wait until that decision happens. So on this caulk job here, I'm not going to worry about cleaning it up. Mostly because it's all getting covered up. So I'm not going to try to make it look pretty or clean it up or make the edge nice and neat. So the structural upgrades are starting to get finished and I kind of complained and moaned and groaned, but I actually like the thicker beams. They look more substantial rather than the beams that we had before. So from a design standpoint, the extra work has definitely been worth it. And from a structural point, it was necessary. Yes. <laughs> we want this house to last a long time. Zeb has kind of started to put appliances where they will actually be. That's gonna help us get an idea of how the kitchen should be laid out so we can start designing cabinetry, dimensions, and all that kind of fun stuff. Yes, the fun stuff. <laughs> what? I'm actually really excited to be building a kitchen island in here and see how the cupboards come together. And we're doing Carrera marble all the way up to the ceiling here. So nine feet back behind the counters. So it should be really cool. I'm super excited about that. I love that we got this new window in. Now we don't have it kicking around. It's one less thing on the floor and we can check it off our list that's about a thousand items long. Be sure you guys hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products that we use for our DIYs. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.